Yo, what is up you guys? It's Dominator here and I'm back with another Pokemon Go shiny compilation video. It is currently the Power Kanto Power Plant event. Is that what's going on? But uh, we don't need anything from this event. However, starting tomorrow, they are doing the Lunar New Year event and they are releasing shiny Litleo. And they're also giving Litleo a spotlight hour, so I'm definitely going to be grinding that. Also, Hopip Community Day comes later this month, and there is also going to be Johto Tour. But Johto Tour will probably get its own video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, other than that, I'm not really sure what's super new. I mean, there's always the Rocket Leaders I could go for, Shinies, but other than that, I'm not sure what I really need. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Before we begin, though, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. And let's get right into this Pokemon Go Shiny compilation. Woo! All right, guys. I was just ready to leave my house for spotlight hour for Litleo. And I got a shiny Paris. That was one, two, three, four. It was a 198 checks. I kind of want to golden raz this, but catch it in a Pokeball. But uh, 198 checks, pretty good, pretty lucky. And then we also did a few Litleo checks, one, two, three. So I'll take it. That is one of the only Gen 1 Shinies I needed for uh, Pokemon Go. So I will definitely take that. That is insane. Bad IVs, but it's okay because it's just on my little. But uh, yeah, uh, already starting off strong. Um, we'll see if I get a Shiny for Spotlight Hour, but uh, I'll, I'll see you if I get anything else. Like, it'd be, because it'd be so cool to have the full, like, Kanto. Dude, I keep hatching Munchlaxes from my 5Ks. I do, too. I want Azuril, dude. Like, what is this crap? That freaked me out when I hatched mine. I was like, what's this shiny right now? Oh, I just got a shiny Litleo on my little. Nito, let's go. Is it boost, dude? I mean, it might be. I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, that's what we'll find out. <laughs> we gonna find out. It's female. <laughs> Who would've thought? Who would've stunked it? Not me. Dude, it's a male. Is it actually? Yeah. We're, uh... Ultra rare. Oh, I just got one on my main. Let's go. What CP was your male one? What CP was your male one? Uh, 528. Oh, this is not 528. <laughs> so, there's a really Sorry, good yeah. chance this ain't male. Sorry, bro. Yeah, mine's female. Rip. Hey, at least you have a female line. Yay. <laughs> Excuse you. Okay, guys, uh, I was just trying to shiny hunt in BDSP, and I think I just spoiled it, but we got a shiny Paris. Uh, I can't believe I got this thing, honestly. <laughs> we will take that. I'm just going to Ultra Ball this. We'll be able to evolve a few things in the next clip of this video, but uh, yeah, shiny Paris, that completes the... Shiny Paris line for me, and on top of that, I can, that's, all I need is Jinx for Kanto, and I'll have every Kanto shiny in, uh, in Pokemon Go, so we will take that. Pretty bad IVs, but not a big deal. I'm just doing my buddy interactions, and I clicked to Paris, and it was shiny, so, yeah, I mean, we're, we're killing this event. We got all the shinies we needed from this event. Um, technically, I need a male Pyroar if I want to go for the gender differences, but, uh, that's going to be very difficult, and I don't really want to try for that. So, uh, yeah, we pretty much completed this event. And, yeah, I guess I'll see you when we go to do the evolutions. Also, that took, uh, if you're wondering, that took 133 checks. <laughs> so, just need Jinx for Gen 1, and that's it. So, I'm happy about that. So, now I'll see you when I go to do the evolutions. All right, guys, I am back. We're going to do some evolutions. Let's check this out. Let's do shiny. Yeah, it's my, my four most recent shinies are all ones I needed. Um, I guess we'll start with Litleo. They're both female. I guess that one's better, right? This one's higher CP. Does it really matter? We'll just evolve the first one, I guess, because it's higher CP. So 
it'll be kind of cooler that way but you know lit leo spotlight hour happened we ended up getting two which was great but honestly even if i didn't get two i'm not super worried they spawn a lot during this event and the spotlight hour actually just happened on day one of the event so you know that's how we got that so easily but there's our shiny pyroar female it would be really cool to get a male one but i'm not gonna like go out of my way for it because it's a one in eight shiny chance it's just gonna be or not shiny chance a one in eight chance for a male and then on top of that i gotta get a shiny the biggest issue with that though is that you can't tell what gender litleo is because there's no gender difference it's only pyroar so i would be blindly clicking them hoping for a male one shiny only to be getting just more female shinies but you know who knows we'll see we'll see what happens but uh, there's our shiny litleo line and then we got the two shiny paris um i'm prepared to just evolve the second one that one's not bad ivs but like it's kind of dinky also let's 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 tag this one actually let's do it let's evolve this one into the parasect i actually really like shiny parasect love a, di a dinky little parasect that's got somewhat decent ivs i guess <laughs> which is kind of goofy but i actually really enjoy parasect shiny it's uh really gross looking colors but look at that such a cool shiny in my opinion it's one of the un most underrated shinies in my opinion i just love how gross looking it is and it just works really well for the pokemon but there's our shiny Parasect. All we need is a good Jinx event, and then I'll have every shiny from Gen 1. So, fingers crossed that can happen. Uh, who knows? But, yeah, completed this line, and there is our most recent shinies. So, yeah, if I get anything else in the future events, I think I still need Esper, technically, but that is gonna be a while before I get those because it's a raid exclusive and yeah. Uh, th there's other things I'll need here and there, but uh, we'll see what happens in the future events and I will see you if I get any more shinies. Oh, let's go, we got a shiny hoppin'. Now, I think I'm going too fast. So we're gonna wait a second before we try to catch this thing because it could easily just break out and run. But this is technically my second hop up of the day, uh, but I st will still record two more after this. So I guess if I fail, this one doesn't matter. I still have one. <laughs> we got a shiny hop up. This hop up day is one of the better community days. I just wish they did it last year because hop up would have been released shiny for Johto Tour regardless. So it's just kind of like them burning a community day with something that's like pretty free just to like extend the community days in my opinion i don't know i i feel like they've been releasing a lot of johto shinies right before johto tour and like to me it's not that big of a deal i just want more new shinies but like for some other people i feel like they probably bought the johto tour ticket thinking oh i have a good shot at getting some of these new shinies and then they already got that shot for free so a lot of people probably bought the ticket and probably don't want it anymore because of that so i don't know it's a controversial thing niantic likes to make really poor decisions all the time but uh all right we're, we're pulling in i'm going pretty slow now so if i were to guess i would say this will not break out i'm just gonna chill in this completely frozen parking lot and we caught it all right we're gonna keep going until we get two more and then we'll evolve them into skip bloom and jump bluff this one's really good ivs they are weather boosted for us which is insane so we usually don't get weather boosted communities it's kind of nuts that we got this one so we're gonna keep going and see if we get any more there we go got one more we just got to get one more now I, I just said one more twice but uh I started to just click them as opposed to catching them. The dust is good, but uh, I, I need to get this line done so I can finish this recording because my friend's waiting for me. So I'm just clicking on him, trying to be fast. But we got a second one. Let's see how good it is. Two star, not too bad. That's the glory of weather boost. And we got so many more to click on. Maybe we can get a fast one real quick, but we'll see what that happens. Yeah, there we go. Got the full line. All right. Uh, let's hope this gets fine. I just definitely am not going too fast, so it's no big deal. <laughs> All right. We got to evolve 
the full line now. Let's see how good this one is. Another two star with 15 attack. I think the first one I got was really good, so let's check it out. I think this one's the biggest one, but it doesn't really matter. I might just evolve the, the one that's better IVs because I don't really think it matters too much. So we'll just evolve this one. Sorry for the brief uh, intermission, but there's apparently a perfect hop if I'm near. Okay, but there's our shiny skip loom. Let's evolve this one into jump love, and that'll be the full evolution line for us. And then we gotta check to see if we get this Shundo Hop It, because that'd be kinda cool. I don't need perfect Hop It, but it would still be cool to get a perfect shiny one. So there's our shiny Jump Luff. And we got, uh, well, we don't have the full line yet, but we can easily evolve the full line. So now we just see if we check these things. <laughs> Oh, let's go, dude. Shiny Deoxys. All right, let me turn on Do Not Disturb really quick in case I get messages. But uh, we'll silver pin at this one to get a little extra candy. Why not? But uh, I think this is a decent IV one because I think it's 1842. I got a 98 earlier, but uh, yeah. Tag form Deoxys. I did get the normal form Deoxys shiny during the ultra bonus event like two years ago when they did that. So I will not be going for that one. That one's already gone anyway. But we got attack form Deoxys and 90 was it 93%? Not bad at all. I mean, it's got 13 attack, but whatever. It's an attack form Deoxys. Not like I'm going to use it that much, but we'll take it. That was, I believe, the 15th check. All right, 15. So we're going to try to get the other two forms of Deoxys. And that's one down. Uh, I guess technically two down because we got the normal form two years ago, but. Uh, Two down, two more to go. Now we just simply wait for defense form to come out. So if I get any more shinies, I will see you then. Okay, guys, um, I just did a defense form Deoxys raid. I'm trying to get a shiny one, and I just saw the perfect CP show up. So this could potentially be a Shundo, and I'm like super nervous now. It's oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? Oh, it's a Shundo Deoxys, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Oh, I want to get an excellent on this thing. Oh, oh my gosh. I cannot. I've ne I get, I have the worst luck with perfect raid bosses. And I... I've I, my last perfect raid boss was like a year ago and I've done a lot of raids and I never thought in a million years I'd get a Shundo raid boss. I oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. There's no way that took 11 defense Deoxys. Um, I got to raid the, the, uh, the last one, the speed form, but I need XL for this thing now. So... I might try to, I don't know if I want to raid this one more or just wait for the speed form and just go hard for that to try to get XL, but I cannot believe that just happened, dude. Oh, leave a like on the video if you got this far. I don't know how much longer this video is going to go. I'm definitely going to go through the rest of the Deoxys forms. I think it's only the speed form after that. And yeah, I can't believe this. I will see you if I get anything else, man. Okay, guys, um, I just got a new shiny 
was not live because honestly, I did not expect this would happen. I think this is actually a first of this happening to me, but we got a shiny Esper from the research box. Now I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've gotten a research box shiny Pokemon. Obviously Esper is a increased shiny chance. So uh, it makes sense, but uh, a lot of the research box Pokemon have increased shiny chance anyway. So it is kind of crazy that this is the first one I've gotten, but this is such a good one for me to get because um, this thing's normally a raid exclusive and I don't do too many raids. So uh, I'm really happy with this one. That was the, where is it? 16th check. I'm gonna try to get the two forms, the different genders, so we need a male one next to ensure we can get all those. And uh, yeah, I that's that's pretty much to it. It's like decent IVs, it's a female, not, not, too, not too bad, not too bad. So we'll take that. If I get anything else, I will definitely see you then. Oh, I got, I got one Rare Candy XL from oh, this. Mm-hmm. I hope that's permanent. I hope it's not just because they like forgot to turn it off. Cause I'm so down for it. I'd be doing like raids in person all the time because it'll really help for like legendaries and stuff. Dude, I got one too. Oh, I got a shiny. Let's go. Oh, sorry. It's fine. I am screen recording. <laughs> all right. Well, you're done. I'm done, but I'm still gonna do them for XL. <laughs> nice. Bang. Okay, guys. Um, I didn't get these live, but I figured I will show them now. Um, I'm going to show them at the same time. I did not get them at the same time, but uh, past few days just at my house chilling, I ended up getting two shiny young goose. I got one on my main and one on my alt account. And uh, the first one took like 690, I think. So like way over odds. And then the second one took like 30. So the second one was way under odds. So uh, we completed the young goose line. So let me just show me catching these two and uh i traded the other one over i think they're both pretty bad ivs but we are going to evolve them now haven't been playing pokemon go so much but i have at least been checking the things i need shiny at my house so uh we i'm glad we got the young goose because let me tell you these things were absolutely everywhere and it was getting old having to like load up my game every time i wanted to like check anything and have there be like six young goose and i'm like oh i might as well check and catch all these so i know if more spawn they're they're new ones and it just it got old so i am glad i got this but uh let's search young goose um this one's only 78 cp oh this one's way better ivs and way higher cp so we're gonna tag this as shiny living decks we are gonna evolve this into gumshoes kind of a really random shiny to be released but um at least they're releasing new shinies because they've been pretty slow with that so there is my shiny gumshoes i think this shiny is a little better because it's got a nicer pink to it but there we go shiny gumshoes gumshoes not gumshoes and uh, yeah, there's there's the full shiny line for that. If I get anything else, I will definitely see you then. I don't remember what it's like, 18, 17? Oh, let's go, shiny Tornadus, man. Let me just turn on Do Not Disturb. Hopefully you can hear me well, but kind of right by the street. But we got the shiny Tornadus, which is pretty cool. Off a of free pass, we take those. Uh, definitely better luck than the, ther the incarnate forms, I should say. Because uh, I still don't have a shiny Landorus in this game, and I've done like 85 raids for it, so that's cool. So I'm glad I got this one fast. That was like only the, I think that was the sixth check. It 
was, yep, the six. So I'm down to get that. And I think this one's decent IVs because it's in the 1800s, so we'll take it. Okay, never mind, it's not that great. But we can always lucky swap it, so that's cool. So, uh, awesome. So, uh, if I get anything else, I don't even know what the next, like, shiny legendary is that I might need. But if I get anything else, I will definitely see you then. Okay, guys, so I joke, I made a joke, like, this is the one time I'm not going to record this and it's going to be shiny. And, of course, it was shiny. We got a shiny shadow polywag. Uh... It took me, ugh, I need to see how many this took. It was too many, that's for sure. Uh, before we catch it, let's just see. That took 172 shiny shadow checks, or I guess leader checks. But uh, one of my worst ones still isn't as bad as Lapras. Lapras took me like 300 to get, but still well over three times odds for this thing. And yeah, I even got a perfect shadow one before the shiny one. Of course, this one's not that great, but I mean, they never are. I'll take it though. I'm glad I got one. I, I kind of like in terms of shinies, the only one I'm really doing is, uh, is the Poliwag because I need Poliwag perfect. I don't need Teddy Ursa perfect and I don't need, what's the other one? Bag on. I don't need bag on perfect at all. And uh, I think Teddy Urs is the coolest shiny, so I like want to do those, but I want to get a perfect Poliwag to complete the line because I only need one left after the perfect shadow I got. And uh, yeah, so it's going to be really hard to try to get three more of these things with my luck. So who knows? But uh, I, I do like the Teddy Ursa line. I do, I guess I technically need a perfect Teddy Ursa as well because if they do. Ursa Luna the way they should where you can evolve an Ursa ring into it then I would need another perfect one I feel like that's how they should do it and that's might be how they do it because Ursa Luna is just a new evolution It's not a Hisuian form regardless. I got shiny Poliwag. This was probably The least exciting shiny shadow shiny for me to get but it's the one I want perfect the most so I am gonna continue doing these um, who knows, maybe if my luck turns around, I could pop off and complete this line, that'd be cool. But for now, we got one of them of the set. We only got one of the set last time, because they only had that rotation for two months, which is absurd. They go from a six-month rotation to a two-month rotation, so we don't know how long these are going to last. Uh, it's all up in the air. I kind of hope that they do rotations more frequently with the option of, like re-releasing old shadow shinies more often because what they currently do is they do a rotation anywhere between two to six months it seems and they only re-release one shadow shiny family and then add two new ones but it's getting to the point where there are just pokemon that you can't even you shouldn't even be able to encounter like like you can get matang from Rocket Grunts, or you can get Venomoth from Rocket Grunts because they don't want to put Beldum and Venonat in Rocket Grunts because those have Shadow Shiny chances. But it's getting to the point where they're they're kind of limiting how many like what Pokemon Grunts can have because they're so fixated on Shiny locking them from Grunts. I think they should make them full odds from Grunts and then have them be boosted odds from leaders, but. Who knows, maybe we can get into a position where they just re-release old ones more often, maybe two old ones and one new one each rotation and just have that more like more frequent would be great. But I don't know, I just can't see myself getting anywhere close to completing this set because I've gotten one after 170 and it's already been a couple months since these have been in rockets. So yeah, we'll see what happens. I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of this video, but who knows? Maybe I'll do a recap soon. Maybe I'll find more shinies. So we don't know what's going to happen. I'll see you when whatever happens. I'm jealous. He's pissed off that you killed his mom in that one game. Wait, what? He's pissed off that you like, found his mom and scared her away in that one game. Yeah. Right? Yeah. In red, blue, yellow, fire, red, leaf, green, and let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Yeah. That one game. Yeah. <laughs> Gen one. Dang, it was really good IVs too. This is this might be my best IV shiny shadow. I'm not even kidding. If it was perfect purified, I would have considered purifying it. Shundo is a shundo. 
Like, I would have loved the shot, though. I want a perfect more. How many did I take? It took 35, so a little under odds. We'll take it after I went well over triple odds last time. Banger, I don't have to do these anymore. Yes, you do. You need a shove, though. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I got a 12. I got a 10, 10, 10. That's good enough, right? <laughs> Who, who was it? Was it Dirty Dan that best buddy to 10 10 10, like Eveltal or something? It's like, why? <laughs> he also lost to Hunter oh, Diago. It was Palkia, and then he quit oh, the game. Yeah, and then he quit the game. No, I lost to Hunter Diago. I have not lost a Hunter Legendary. Okay, if anyone gets lucky friends with me, I'll swap this one. It's not that good. That was. I've that was lost. the ninth. I've been getting pretty lucky with Legendaries lately. I've not, not only lie. failed two Hundos. Okay guys, I literally just woke up and the spring event has started and the second encounter I got, shiny flower crown Baneri. Now, last time they had this, it was two years ago, it was not last year. Last time they had this, it was uh, not able to evolve and then they changed it so that it was able to evolve. Now, I personally am not a fan of that because they... Uh, it really sucks when you're trying to get these limited time costume shiny Pokemon anyway. Like, I hate when they do that. But now it's like I gotta get multiple of each. And I think the biggest, the bigger issue is with the Togepi. Because, especially for me, the last time they had Togepi, which was two years ago, by the way, they uh, had Togepi and eggs. I ended up hatching two shiny Togepi with the flower crowns, and my friend didn't hatch one. And obviously, they didn't evolve. So, what I did is gave my friend one of the flower crown shiny Togepi. And now it evolves. So, now I need two more, which really sucks. I guess if they are going to have costume shiny Pokemon evolve, they need to do it on the release days and not two years later because it really changes the perspective on how I want to save costume shinies. It's like anytime I get a duplicate costume shiny, I'm probably not gonna trade it now because <laughs> it could evolve in the future, which I think is super lame. But there's our costume shiny Baneri. We're gonna tag this one. I did have to trade for the last one. The last one, I did not get. I went like 1300 and didn't get it. And then I, my friend ended up trading it to me. But he had a bunch. So he didn't have to worry about this one when it when they added the evolved option for it. So let's do Baneri and Shiny. And we got this one here that's... Uh, that's not it. <laughs> this one here that is already best buddied. And then this one is worse. We'll just evolve the bus buddied one. Why not? It's going to have the crown on it. Or not the crown. The um, Well, it has the flower crown on it, but it's going to have the best buddy ribbon on it. We got a best buddy in the next one. I like to best buddy all of my costume shinies. Um, I'm not super worried about getting shiny Tokatik unless they make it full odds, but I did have a tracker set up and it does seem like Tokatik is spawning like mad to the point where I probably won't even have to use the tracker. And I'm assuming it's a higher shiny chance because usually like limited time evolutions like that are higher shiny chance. But uh, for some reason, it doesn't change the name when it is a best buddy. That is kind of interesting, but there's our shiny flower crown low bunny. And we have that line, so there's that, and yeah, so we need Tokatik times two, we need this Eevee times like 17,000, so <laughs> I don't, I doubt I'm going to get the Eevee, the Eevee is like extremely rare, I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not hopeful for the Eevee, the Eevee's, I mean, I don't know if it's extremely rare, but I still need like seven of them, so have not gotten one myself, but uh, I had to trade for all of them, but uh yeah, uh, I'm probably going to end this video once this event ends, so I know it's probably a longer one, but uh, stay tuned till the end. Comment below what you think about costume shiny Pokemon evolve or evolving or just costume Pokemon in general. I personally think if they're going to have a costume Pokemon evolve, it should remove the costume and then if it... Like, so that there's only one of each costume Pokemon for collectors who want to shiny hunt. But if you do get a good IV one, you're still able to evolve it. It just won't have the costume anymore. So there's like a trade-off. But uh, I think what they did now is the worst option where they waited two years and then made it evolve. But uh, yeah, I think there's there's got to be a better way for that. But uh, 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm going to get grinding this event, and I will see you if I get any more shinies. All right, guys. It's the start of the Execute event, and we did it. Shiny Shadow Execute. It's really bad IVs, but this was only the second one I did today. They're everywhere, and I'm really happy they did this because they were saying increased chance of grunts for the event. Wait, actually, can you even hear me? Okay, you can. Cool. I was, well, actually wasn't sure, but... uh yeah, they said increased chance of rocket grunts during the event to have uh, execute and Wismer, but they said that for the whole like week. And this is really bad IVs. That's okay though. We'll take it. But uh, yeah, and I'm hatching a 10k. Um, during the week, there were literally none. Like I, I did probably 70 plus rockets during the week and got like two execute grunts. So it was pretty bad for that. And. Uh, yeah, so I'm glad they're everywhere now. That is so huge. This is a great event. Um, really happy about that, Shiny Execute. I'm going to evolve it into an Alolan Executor because you can for the three hours, but I'm going to wait until it's at least closer to the end in case I get a better IV one. I would prefer to evolve the better IV one. Um, a little unfortunate, it gets a move that actually makes it a pretty decent Dragon type. And... Uh, it makes a, it gets Draco Meteor if you evolve it, but unfortunately you can't TM Frustration off him, which sucks. So uh, I pretty much had to get that during the Rocket event in order to get a shine, Shiny Shadow one with Frustration. But, uh, you know, it's no big deal. We'll, we'll deal with it. But, uh, you know, there's always an opportunity later. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to wait until I evolve one uh, for later and we'll see what happens. But until then, I'll see if I get any more Shinies. Actually, I'm pretty sure mine's not max either. <laughs> It's like level 45. It mine's small horn. I don't wait until I got a big horn. I have, I have a three I have, female perfect. I have a big and a small horn. I got the gender difference line. <laughs> right. I have three females. Very sad. Yes, dude, let's go! It's a little better than my last one. <laughs> oh, that means you're not getting it, and you're not getting it. I know, right? No, Booze has got to get one. You gotta get one to evolve it. Dude. I'll trade you my shadow one. Oh yeah? He'll <laughs> do that for me. Yeah. So kind of. Alright, well this one's the contender for evolving. <laughs> Yikes. We'll take it. I'll evolve my four star that, one. That took six. <laughs> do that one. Don't do the shadows. Here we Dude, go. You know it'd be sick? Dude, everyone's gonna have these shiny shadow alone ones, bro. Get a can. <laughs> <laughs> or I could just you know, do some Arlo's <laughs> later on. No, but right now, bro, you could like I saw get someone, a can to one. Dude. I saw someone on Discord, uh, on the Ann Arbor Discord, they evolved one into a Kanto one. I was like, yikes! <laughs> There's two grunts. Up there. Okay, guys, uh, I kid you not. I decided to not record this because I was like, it's not gonna be shiny. I got a shiny shadow drowsy. Oh my gosh. I've kind of been popping off with shiny shadows this rotation, and part of the reason why I'm not getting them live is because normally I do record all of them, but the fat past few times I've gone well over a hundred for them, and it's just like when I when I got I think it was the polywag I got that at 174, and I was just like okay I've recorded like 150 plus of these things, this one's not shiny I'm not gonna do it, and then of course it's shiny. Same thing with like the Q-Bone I got and the first Execute and like this Drowsy. I've only gotten one shiny Shadow Shiny live this rotation, but uh, you know, we'll take it Shiny Shadow Drowsy. If I'm being real, I would have much preferred Execute because that would have completed the line for me. But it is nice to have at least one of each from this rotation as, as opposed to only getting one. The past two rotations, I've literally only gotten one of... Uh, of any of them like la the two rotations ago i got one glygar and the last rotation i got one polywag and that was it so my luck has definitely turned around a bit that only took six since my last shadow execute from uh the easter thing i pretty sure during those hours execute bull definitely both in research but also in sh like the rocket grunts I want to say they were like a stupid high shiny chance, like 1 in 10 maybe. Even if it was 1 in 10, I still got really lucky getting 2 because I had only done like 7 that whole day. But uh, yeah, another shadow shiny, so we'll take it. Um, I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hatch the last of my event eggs just in case, and then 
I will see you when I do the recap because I probably won't get a shiny from that. But uh, so, yeah, I'll see you when I do the recap of the however many events it's been. It's been a while. So I'll see you then. But Some like you have to agree. But like you have to like the thing. About, the thing that's annoying. Good, like the thing about. Oh, I got a shiny stuff. Let's go. <laughs> the thing about uh, Stunfisk is that. Like, yeah, you could use Swamper, but then you have to pretty much make your home, whole team rely on that, and that's for one obnoxious Pokemon. Like, Stunfisk is probably the one Pokemon that would probably be okay if they just banned it. It's totally whole, like, There's one Jedi who kills, he grabs Banger. his face with his foot and slams him into the ground. I got another Stuffle that's yellow. I only have one. Well, I got two now, so you're trash. So true. So true. It's a skill based and skill, very rare. Skill based luck, that's what I like to call it. Skill based luck. I just love those people who are like, I haven't It's a three star. Since calm day, it's like. Okay, guys, uh, it is the end of this shiny compilation. Probably an extremely long one because uh, it's been a while since I've made one of these videos. I still obviously record sh new shinies I get and whatnot. So uh, let's see what we got here. I have to go down pretty far because a lot has happened. I'm pretty sure I'm looking at my last video. The last shiny in the last video was this lucky shiny Oshawott I got. So... Starting off what seems to be the Lunar New Year event, which at this point was like over two months ago. So, uh, yeah, we got the shiny Litleo line. We got the Pyroar and then the Litleo. This was for the spotlight hour. We also got a shiny Paris and Parasect. Um, I said those out of order, but we got that line complete. Uh, more shiny Spiros because those spawned a, a bunch. These are all like duplicate shinies that I did not record right here. But then we got Hopip Community Day, obviously completed the Hopip line, pretty easy. One of the more fun Community Days in my opinion, because they had like extra candy, extra dust, like some other bonus with like candy. And it was just kind of a good time because of all the bonuses they had, even though um, I would have preferred if Hopip was released before, uh, like way earlier than it was because it was like right before Jota tour and then it made getting shiny hop up and Jota tour not as cool so uh, i wish they had done it like last year but i mean it's whatever it was still one of the better community days in my opinion then uh i think this coughing was from spotlight hour i have no i think it probably uh random piplop and then we got the deoxys in raids i got one of each shiny deoxys there was the first two there's the speed form, and then I got the first normal form way back when, when they first released it, which was like two years ago. It took them that long to re-release it shiny. But uh, yeah, so 93% shiny attack form Deoxys, which was really cool. But then the craziest thing I've ever gotten, shiny Shundo Deoxys from a raid. I saw the CP, I mean, you guys saw it in the clip. I saw the CP. I saw that it was 1624. I had to double check to make sure that uh, that was the perfect CP. So I started recording for it. And yeah, I, I can't believe I got this thing shiny. That was absolutely insane. So uh, yeah, we have it best bodied now. Um, we need to max it. We don't have enough XL. I really hope they reintroduce Rare Candy XL in raids because they had a really good system where it was like in-person raids for Johto Tour and at, even a few days after Johto Tour like if you were in person you could get Rare Candy XL from raids and then remote raiders couldn't do that and I think that was the best solution for like uh, incentivizing being in-person raids instead of just remoting the whole time but instead they take that away and then they they're gonna nerf remote raid damage which I think is like the worst thing they could do they they really want the fans to be like really mad at them for some reason but uh, I hope they do something with rare candy XL because it's very hard to get it I only have like 40 so even if I use it on this guy it's not gonna be enough to max it which is so dumb but uh, yeah the only other way to get XL for this thing is to essentially have it come back in raids and who knows how long that'll be it took them like two years to release the shinies of these after the first one so who knows uh kind of sucks but we'll see what happens then my friend traded me a male litleo because he got like a multiple shiny male litleos which 
crazy luck for him because it's a one in eight shiny chance for a male or one in eight gender difference chance for a male so he got like multiple uh male lit leos so he gave me one of them which was cool so that like kind of completes the line for gender differences um this dodrio was kind of cool i needed this for the the line for gender differences i didn't record it but i i am going for gender differences as well and i needed this and that completed the dodrio do duo line then I think this was like a Pokeball event. They had Galarian Stunfisk in the wild and I ended up getting it shiny. It wasn't live, but it should be in this video. So that was pretty cool because I suck at hashing these things. I, I don't get too that good of luck with like eggs and stuff. So I'm glad they put in the wild. Then I got a shiny Esper from the research box, which was really cool. I still need two more, but who knows? That might take a while. Then I believe all this was Johto Tour, which should have its own video. There's the speed form Deoxys we got. Uh, so that's going to be part of it. Uh, I, I got this shiny Manectric on my alt account and traded it over and it became a 98%. It's like perfect CP for level one, which is kind of crazy. So that was kind of cool, but not, not Shundo would have been insane if it was Shundo. Um, other stuff here and there, they had a Lolan executor event. So there was shiny Lolan executors. Um, I think these Shinx were just traded. I, I've, I've been doing a lot of like old shiny swaps with my friend for like community day shinies to try to get luckies and yeah so there's that like there's a little insane true lucky so like uh sand true community happened i didn't need any of these shinies but whatever i needed xl and a perfect alolan would have been nice but i didn't get that then i believe this was probably part of the valentine's day event because there's an aloma mola there i caught a couple aloma molas and uh i ended up getting a shiny squirtle from research which is kind of cool um and then they released the shiny young goose i got the full shiny young goose line it took me a while for the first one and then it was really quick for the second one so that was kind of cool but uh you know pretty pretty good luck on that then uh shiny therian tornadus i have both tornadus now i have uh thunderous therian form but i need everything else shiny i need the incarnate form of thunderous and both forms of landorus i think landorus is coming out pretty soon so stay tuned for that for the next video i guess and uh, we got Shiny Shadow Poliwag. This was one of my longer Shiny Shadows with 174 encounters, which took a while. So that, glad I got it, but um, I was pretty much going for just perfects. Like, I, I, Poliwag was the only one I needed perfect from the leaders, and I got one. I got, actually, I got a perfect Shiny one, which was insane. So I'll, I'll show that off later, but we ended up, we needed one more. So we were just doing Poliwags, and I ended up getting another Shiny one, um, all these sand shoes, I believe, were traded after Community Day, so we were, I was swapping those. Uh, random Pincer, Paris Spotlight Hour happened. I got two more shiny Paris. Uh, there's a Lickitung Mareep, and then this was the this was the April Fools event. I got five shiny Dittos, which was pretty cool. I didn't really need it, but it's whatever. <laughs> and then Shadow Shiny Cubone, which was cool. I didn't get this live because I didn't. I actually didn't get the Poliwag live either because I just didn't expect to get either of these. So. Just didn't record it. Then we got shiny fairy and thunderous. This one actually didn't take me that long, which was great. Actually, I don't think I don't think any shiny legendaries I've needed have taken a while, which is awesome. So uh, except for like landorus, which I still don't have, but who knows? Hopefully the fairy informs better. Then mudkip community day happened. We don't really care about that. Uh, the Easter or spring into spring event happened, and I got a shiny Baneri, which we evolved the other one into Lopunny. I you already saw that in the video. We're not gonna go back. We gotta be fast with this. Uh, I got a random shiny Clink from a raid, 93%, which was pretty cool. It is boosted odds when they're like raid exclusives, but uh, still really cool to have a 93% one. Uh, so if you see a lot of Scythers, because those are also boosted odds, then also uh chances were also boosted odds i didn't need the flower crown chancy because i had one traded to me last year and then got another one last year or was it two years ago i forget it was one of the years then they had the execute execute uh, research day which had the shadow shiny ones really easy shiny chance probably like a one in ten and i still got lucky with it uh in grunts and in arlo obviously so i ended up getting two shiny shadow ex executes and i evolved one into a lolan executor i'm not sure what's going on with this how it like cuts it off but uh that's new i guess that wasn't a thing before and uh yeah i'm glad i got the executor the alolan one because you could only evolve to alolan executor for three hours so it was cool to get the shadow shiny one for that so i'm really happy about that still need one more for the line for the kanto executor um 
Let's see. Oh, Shadow Shiny Drowsy, too. I've been popping off with Shadow Shinies lately. I have, like, half of this rotation, more than half of this rotation Shadow Shiny already, which is crazy because it's only been a couple weeks. Then we had Stuffle Community Day, which was the last part of the thing. Obviously, I got a bunch of shiny stuffles. So, uh, yeah, let me show off my... Uh, my four stars i did just get a sh perfect cherubi today i got a perfect beware from the research which was cool uh perfects here and there but i really like wanted to show off the two like crazy perfects i got the perfect shadow polywag which i evolved into polywrath which is insane this is my i think fifth or sixth perfect shadow it might be my sixth one it's kind of crazy i got a lot a lot of these i have ridiculous luck and then obviously the shundo deoxys which was crazy so uh yeah that is gonna be it for this video if you guys enjoyed these pokemon go compilations make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe if you haven't done so yet and yeah let me know what your best shiny is that you've gotten recently in pokemon go or just a good pokemon in general in the comments below and that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring those notification bells, all that good stuff. Be sure to join the domination and I will see you in the next video.